Not looking. So we got a box from, as you can see right here, Grillcraft. And Grillcraft contacted me and Jeff and asked us if we would like to try out one of their latest Grillcraft uh, Sports Series grill. And I don't know, there's two different versions of these grills. As you know, Jeff already has a Grillcraft grill on his WRX. And so he said, hey, uh, you want to try it out? So we did that install, I don't know, a long time ago, about a year, two years ago. Um, install wasn't so bad, so I pretty much know what to expect when installing one of these Grillcraft grills. So let's just take it out of the box and show you exactly what is in the box. So in pictures and video, this looks like one of those flimsy grills, but it's actually not. This is actually really sturdy. Let's give it a nice test. And one thing I noticed about the grill is that since it eliminates or it actually opens up the grill area just a little bit more, is that this may allow for more cooling to your front mount intercooler if you have one or your front radiator. But I'm not sure if it's going to be anything measurable, to be honest with you. But... I don't know, I was never really a fan of this style grill, but I'm gonna give it a shot to be honest with you. So once again, big thanks to Grillcraft for sending this out to us. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my extra bumper and I'm gonna test fit the Grillcraft grill onto the extra bumper that I have. The bumper right here that you see is actually my beater bumper. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know if I'm totally sold on the whole bumper cutout thingy, but you know what, it's a, it's a beater bumper anyways, it's messed up, so here we go. You know what it really doesn't look half bad like i said before i've never been a fan of these style grills but i'm kind of digging it now i don't know we'll see we'll wait till we put the lights in put the bumper on the car and then i'll make the final determination so now that i'm looking at it, it really doesn't look that bad in comparison to the jdm grill that everybody has i don't know you know what it's gonna be a hard decision and to be honest with you i think i already have enough lights on the front anyways and uh, what I'm gonna do now, since I'm, since this is black, I'm gonna protect it with a little bit of blue tape because I know test fitting this might scratch up uh, the black part portion of the uh, bumper. I should have done that first before I did the, any kind of test fitting. So next thing it calls for is to take the outer edges of the grill. You're going to mark those uh, with a marker and you're going to take a 3 16 drill bit and you're going to drill one hole on each side. All right, so I got all the holes drilled, one on each side, one on the top, one at the bottom. Next, the instructions call to paint the inner portions of the grill black. It says for the bottom part of the grill, you're going to attach the uh, provided U-clip. So next, the instructions say you're gonna use the one inch screw that comes with the kit and uh, one of these to help it grab onto something. I forgot what these are called, to be honest with you. Maybe I should take out the tape. I think I should have done that first. Oops. So next the instructions state to install the actual fog lights itself. So it says these are the XC series LEDs, three and a half LED. 18 yeah you guys can read the box so i was thinking if i install these should i install uh those uh yellow film on this to get the yellow look i don't know i'm not sure yet this comes with the mounting hardware right there let me just get that in focus Next day. 
All right, so we're gonna start off where we left off yesterday with the wiring. Now, like I said, and it looks like they want us to mount the relay right here. I guess you just undo this bolt and bolt it on down here. I guess we'll do that. And then uh, I guess it's a positive and negative. The other wire, we route into the cabin. And there is a hole right down in there where you can access the cabin. Really easy to do. I got the wheel and tire off. If you look into your wheel well liner, there is a hole right above this little uh, grommet right here. I don't know if you can see it. Not enough light, but right here, there is a hole. That will go directly to your footwell or driver's side footwell. So the actual switch won't fit right through the hole. So all you gotta do is just take out the switch from the wires and feed it through the hole. So now I'm just gonna mount the switch. Should be fairly easy to do since I already have a hole mounted from my previous light bar for a switch. Do you want me a screwdriver? Ah, oh, shit. Got my switch wires and switch is mounted. So now that the switch is hooked up, all I did was connect the negative and the positive. Unfortunately, I broke my stock battery terminal for some reason. I don't know why, don't ask, but I had to go to the store and buy a new one. But there's the positive cable and the negative cable right there. I'm gonna clean all this up later on. Just tucked everything in there nice and neatly. Um, here's the wire. I'm gonna do something about that so it doesn't show too much. There it is. And I routed the wire down through the fender well. And here's the wire for the lights. I'm just going to leave this out right here. I'm going to connect the bumper, hook up the lights, and we should be done. So one thing I will say is the lights are very bright. Hold on, let me just turn it on for you and show you. So it's very hard to gauge brightness on camera, but I'm telling you right now, these things are blindingly bright. I don't think they're flood beams, they're more spotlights. I don't know, I'm not a lighting expert, but if you were to turn these on during oncoming traffic, you would certainly blind oncoming drivers. That is for sure. So first impressions are, I mean, it's all right. I mean, it's not really my style, but I don't know. I'm gonna give it a few hours or maybe a few days to see if I like it or not. I don't know, man. Some things are just not for me, to be honest with you. I think it's a nice grill, but for me and the look that I'm going for, it just doesn't fit my look. guys there is the grill fully installed and let me tell you you know what I'm I'm a 50 50 on the look of this grill to be perfectly honest with you I'm just get straight to the point so I really like the way the grill is constructed nice and sturdy it looks a lot more flimsier in the pictures but I'm telling you this is 100% metal made in the USA but I think for me I think the JDM OEM grill works or fits a little better for my application that's just me nothing against the grill or anything I think you know the product is great itself but if you think this grill will fit you, well, I have a link. It's in the description below. Go ahead and check it out, grillcraft.com. And this is a specific application for the 2015 up. The Rx 115, the 18s and up, by the way. I think they have their own applications, by the way. So if you have 18 and up with the upgraded bumper, yes, the grill is different. And yes, they do have their own application. So 
And to be perfectly honest, I'm gonna give the grill maybe a week or two, maybe a couple days. If I like it, I like it, I'll keep it on. If not, then I'll simply take it off. Maybe I'll give it away to one of you guys or maybe some of you locals out there who may be interested in a grill like this. But anyways, that is it. Thanks for watching, I'm gonna keep this short today and we'll talk to you guys later. Go ahead, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Peace out.